Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Reviews. It is quite the time to be alive for a Fallout 4 modder because we just got another amazing mod release. That being Mojave Geckos by The Fried Turkey and HCGX Grill. This mod adds a ton of content from Fallout New Vegas. First of which being of course the Mojave Geckos along with 11 different variants that you can find, including glowing and albino variants. Geckos can be found now across the Commonwealth, fighting with the mole rats and other types of animals. And there is also a small side quest that will allow you to recruit your very own gecko follower, who will grow up as you play with him. This mod also adds in the Fallout 3 leather armor and the Fallout New Vegas lightweight leather armor, the new cattle prod weapon that also has various modifications, three new hats, new settlement attacks featuring the Mojave geckos, and a new workshop object that will allow you to grow gecko eggs, hatch them, and then sell them for caps based on their variant and size. This is a truly a whopping mod that adds so much content, so let's check out some of these features with a little bit more detail. So to start the quest, you're gonna head over to the new Crashed Caravan site over by Watts Consumer Electronics. It's pretty close to the start of the Automatron DLC, so you can find it there. Once here, you will see a bunch of deceased wastelanders from the Mojave, as well as a lot of geckos that we had traveling with them. Here you can find all of the new armors, the leather armor, lightweight leather armor, and the three new hats, as well as some whiskey from New Vegas, which is a pretty cool touch. The quest will then send you to track a signal to a nearby raider location where they will be holding Gek, the new Gecko companion. Simply unlock his cage and he is available to be your companion and does not conflict with any other companions or companion mods. Quick note, while freeing Gek, keep an eye out for the cattle prod weapon as you can find it amongst one of the raiders as well. So now that the quest is done, let's check out some of the things that this mod offers. First of all, your new companion Gek, the Gecko, can wear all of the new hats in this mod and when you crouch, he actually <laughs> turns invisible as though he was to equip a stealth boy. Found that out just now, on accident. The new cattle prod weapon has a base damage of 38 and an energy damage of 20, a swing speed of medium and a weight of two pounds, a value of 50 caps. You can attach spikes for extra damage as well as bleeding effects. And you can choose to have it not electrified, electrified, electrified with copper, which adds even more energy damage and a heated coil, which will add even more base damage bringing a maximum damage for this weapon to 76 and 40 energy. The two new armor sets added to the game look very great, that with the leather armor and the lightweight leather armor. Sadly, you cannot attach over armor to either of these, like raider armor, leather armor, or combat armor. They are a full set of armors and that is it, but luckily they have pretty good stats to cover for it. The lightweight leather armor has a base damage resistance of 17 and an energy resistance of 25, and the regular leather armor has a base damage resistance of 22, energy resistance of 14, and radiation resistance of 10. Also now at your workshop, you have three new options. The fire gecko egg, golden gecko egg, and the regular gecko egg, which if you place, will eventually grow a gecko of the pertaining type. Speaking of the types of geckos, there are 11 new types. The first of which is Gek, your gecko companion. Then the regular Mojave gecko, an albino gecko, the golden geckos, fire geckos, and finally the glowing gecko, and a young variant for each of these five, making a total of 11. So yeah guys, that's the mod, it has a ton of content, and if you really want to get to the nitty gritty, download it for yourself, the link will be in the description as always, and if you like the video, drop a like, and if you want to see more, consider subscribing for all future Fallout 4 modding content. Really quick, we will get our AMA question out of the way today, we have already gotten a question on the last video, and that is by user Aesthetics. Do you like pineapple on pizza? Absolutely not. Get it out of here. Pineapple's fine. Pizza's fine. The two should not mix. Fight me. If you want to ask your own question or you just want a chance to be featured in a video, drop a question either in here or in my Discord. If you'd like an invitation to the Discord, then comment below and I will give you the link for the invitation. But yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.